Hello everybody, this is Dream Number Year for round four of Group H. We're concluding round four in this session, and we have got this fight card. At first, we are going to see Shin Dominus taking a crack at Windless Cudgel Booth. Then, we will see Killer Wolf going up against Ooh. We have Iron Dan taking on El Igozi. And as for our main event of this session, it is a clash of the top, top two currently in this group. Black Rider going up against Tyrant King. We'll see who reigns supreme in that main event. But first, we have got Shin Dominus and Cudgel Booth. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Shin Dominus, we have got Zui Ceratops. Well, to say that Shin Dominus has had a mixed tournament so far would be an understatement. A win, a draw, and a defeat. That's a record so far. Right, in the blue corner for Cudgel Booth. We have Megalosaurus, Cudgel Booth still searching for their first points of the tournament. But given how this group has shaped up so far, a win here will they'll put them right back in the mix. But a defeat will leave them on the brink. And they do have terrain advantage in this match because the, Al the Alpha Acro will get terrain advantage. That could be the difference here. Oh, that's a big hit from Megalosaurus. Megalosaurus, one of the hardest hidden secrets, and look at that! Massive hit from Cudgel Booth. But the counter blitz has been triggered here, so that guarantees Shindominus will get a hit of some kind. And it'll be a tie. And Megalosaurus wasted no time at all dispatching Zuniceratops. Coming in next for Shindominus, we've got Anki Ceratops. Yes, love him, loathe him, praise him. He don't care, because he's a grumpy bastard. <laughs> but can the grump get Shindominus back in this contest? Three. Okay, there's a hit, a tie bomb coming in. Well, Shin Dominus no stranger to slow starts in this tournament, but they always seem to come back into matches. Oh, all the secret moves have been triggered. But it's Anki Ceratops landing another hit, another tie bomb. Shin Dominus working their way back in this match. Oh, but Megalosaurus lands another. Big crit! Massive hit from Cudgel Booth. Oh, and that's gonna do it, I think. That zero G throw is gonna yeet Anki Ceratops around like a ragdoll. Holy smokes, Anki Ceratops goes 40 feet in the air, courtesy of Megalosaurus, and comes crashing down into the earth and dies. And that will put Cudgel Booth 2 0 up. Is this the day for Cudgel Booth? Right, coming in third for Shindom, we got Stratosaurus. Well, again, like I said earlier, Shindom is no stranger to coming back into matches, so we will not count them out. But this Megalosaurus has looked mega strong. Oh, there's another crit! Well, it's not a crit, but it's a Big hit, a psychic bind. And remember, Alpha Acro still has to come in with the terrain advantage. So, at this stage, a bonus point win is looking very likely for Cudgel Booth. Okay, down finally the Megalosaurus goes down. And in comes Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Now, it gets terrain advantage, so we'll get the next hit. It'll be a rock hit. So I believe it's an ACT rocket, I think, this guy's got. But, whatever, well, whatever the hit will be, it's going to leave Cudgel Booth on the brink of the bonus point win. Okay, yeah, it is ACT rocket. 
I'm sorry if I, if I keep drinking in videos. <laughs> My throat is playing up, okay? I'm trying to supplement it. <laughs> oh, it's not coming down yet. Interesting. It's a tie. But ties aren't good enough for Shin Dominus. He needs hits and that might do it. The banana surprise with the rocket to come down as well, I think is going to be curtains for Stracosaurus. And it is going to be a bonus point victory for Cudgel Booth. Bleh. And what a way to get your first ever win in a tournament. And given how tight this group is, that could be a big win for Cudgel Booth. Right, on to match number two. Righty ho then, in the red corner, representing Killer Wolf, we have got Super Karma Taurus Awaken Mode on one. Okay, this is an interesting field because Ur will get terrain advantage here. And they have a Blitz type in first as well. And in fact, they are going to get a crit. Right, in the blue corner, for Ur, we've got the Blitz type Spinosaurus. Now, because Spinosaurus does have Terrain Advantage here, it will get the Terrain hit first, which will be a crit, and then it'll go for its two Blitz hits. And the Super Carnotaurus has the Awaken Mode on one as well, so this is going to be a crazy match. <coughs> right, first things first, Terrain hit. Massive crit, this could be a water sword as well. Badoosh. Oh, look at that! Elemental fusion. Oh, I didn't get it, another hit. Another water sword. This is a perfect blitz rush from Ur. Right, crit number two now. Oh, but. Killer Wolf didn't get it. Got the hit that time though. But that was a perfect blitz rush from the Ooh. And that is all she wrote for Carnotaurus. Well, doesn't matter what this lands on, it's, even if it's just a one. That's a four. Light recovery coming in there. And quick as a wink, Ur is 1 0 up. But coming in next for Killable, we've got Ampelosaurus. Now, because the Spinosaurus already used its terrain advantage, Ampelosaurus will still get terrain advantage here, so it will get the next hit, which will be a paper. And Killer Wolf will need it. Bing, ding, ding. Badoosh. Not much damage there. Ooh, okay, another hit from Ampelosaurus. Killer Wolf getting some hits on the board. Not doing much damage, though, I will say that. Badoosh. There's another hit. A shockwave, is it? Or is Aqua Javelin? It's a shockwave. Oh, no. Wet. Wetness. Right, so that means Ampelosaurus will be going for a crit. You can't go rock. Okay, yeah, you gotta go paper. You gotta take that crit on the chin. And Killer Wolf comes back into the match. <sighs> well, after everything's said and done, we are level packing. Right, coming in next for Ur, we've got a Rhinoceratops. Now, Rhinoceratops does have tight advantage here, so that could be key in this matchup. Can Ur re-establish the control they had at the start of the match? Whoa, that's a crit! Well, Killer Wolf has gotten more hits in this match, but Ur has been, has been getting big hits in this match. Look at that! Massive hit from a Rhinoceratops. Now, why do the minor Rhinoceratops do that? <laughs> Another hit from a Rhinoceratops. Yeah, just like that. Ooh, regaining control of this match. 
Okay, but Ampelosaurus getting a hit back. But yeah, look at that. Or is this a shockwave? Yes, it is. Okay, that's a good shockwave, that. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Archaeopteryx charm. <laughs> it, sne it sneaks up on you. Never. I think Killer Wolf has got more hits in this match, but Ooze hits have just been so devastating. Boosh! Still can't get a shockwave off. Well, it'll eat up the Archaeopteryx charm anyway. Okay, that was a two, wasn't it? Yeah. And yet, Thunder Bazooka is going to finish off the Ampelosaurus and put Ooze to one up. I mean, it didn't matter what hit Ur got, they were going to kill her anyway. Right, coming in food for for Killer Wolf, we've got Packy Rhinosaurus. I will say, a bonus point win for Ur, you will put them, I believe, second in the group. Well, at, at, for the time being, anyway, before the other two matches happen. I know they'll go above Gauzy. But Killer Wolf, can Killer Wolf get that killer hit? Okay, this is more like it. That's more like it from Killer Wolf. This is exactly what they needed, a lightning spear. It's no good chipping away now. They need big hits. Because li like I said, they've got more hits in this match, but Ooze hits have been massive hits. They've been crits. They've been blitz hits. Oh, there's another one! Another Thunder Bazooka! That's probably gonna down Patty Rhinosaurus' HP below health, and it does! Okay, that tile do it. A Rhinoceratops going down, but it definitely put a shift in and did the work. And well, now Ur is well. I'd say well in command, but anything can happen, but. Now Ur definitely has the upper hand. This match is in their hands because coming in third, we got Arbitus. We're not going to see Spectral Arm, let's be honest. But at this point, Killer Wolf will do well to win this match. One hit from Ur will win it for them. Okay, that's a Lightning Spear. It'll still do a decent amount of damage, despite the type disadvantage. Can it get Armatus' HP below half? And... Oh, oh my god, he can't. And yeah, that'll do it. To add insult to injury recovery as well, it is going to be Ur's victory. Oh no, it's not. Not yet, anyway. But it's well in their hands now. A tie will do it. Oh, there's a hit. It's, oh, it's a power drain. Now, this power drain could be crucial, actually, because the tiny amount of health the Pachyrhinosaurus will gain back will be enough for it to survive a tie. And look at that. That power drain has put Armatus' HP below half. The Pachyrhinosaurus is heroic time. Let's have a look. Oh, it survived. How crucial could that power drain have been? Okay, not very crucial. This is going to be lethal. The recovery effect won't activate because Pachyrhinosaurus is done. At least I don't think it will. Oh, hang on, it will. Okay, that's still below half, so Killer Wolf will still get the losing bonus point. But it is Ooze victory, and they kind of made hard work of it at the end, but yeah. Well done to Ooze. Another win in this tournament, and they're doing a lot better than they did last year. Right then, on to match number three. Right, in the red court for Iron Dan, we have got a Stegosaurus. Iron Dan still searching for their first win of the tournament. As I fix the uh, random number generator. <laughs> but in the blue corner, for Help Me Gauzy, we have got Terry. And actually, this is a good field for Gauzy. Super Fairy will get terrain advantage here. A win for Gauzy here will put them second in the group. A bonus point win will put them 
joint top with the uh, Black Raider. Lots to play for for these two. A win for Iron Dan will thrust them right up the table. Okay, good hit there. Boosh. Tech boost activate then. Oh, that's a tie. That triggers the Quake Saber, but it is Gozzy getting that next hit. A steady start so far for both of these guys. Defense boost coming in. a tie. Another tie. Oh, and it's a stick getting the next hit. The tech boost is going to max up. We should most likely see some earth barrier action here. And we do. Good hit from Iron Dan, that. And, unfortunately for Gozzi, the death fire did not get triggered, so... Yeah, probably missed their chance. But let's see if Terry survives this hit. Oh, he does, and the death fire has been triggered. Now, what's interesting here is because the earth barrier is in effect, even if Gozzi gets the death fire here, Stegosaurus will not go down. And Gozzi does get the death fire. That's going to eat up the earth barrier, but could... Because of the Earth Barrier, Stegosaurus will survive with a sliver of health. Choo! But look at this. We are back to being level. But it is Iron Dan taking the lead. Well, let's not let's be honest. You can't call it a lead, can you? <laughs> Right, coming in next for Gauzy, we've got Ceratosaurus, Super Ceratosaurus. Awaken mode on four. Now, the Awaken mode in this matchup could be key, because both our guys got Super Dinosaurs. So at this match could come down to who gets our Awakened head, and who doesn't. One. Oh, 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 that could be a crucial Dino Stuffer. That could be a crucial Dino Stuffer, that, because that Quake Saber would have done a serious amount of damage. Right, that's once. Okay, that tile do it. Down goes the Steg. That Quake Saber, man. That would have done a lot of damage. Gozzi dodged a bullet big time. Right, coming in next for Iron Dan, we have got Kakarodontosaurus. Now, normally, it would have type advantage here, but because the Ceratosaurus doesn't have any wind moves, it doesn't have any type advantage. Go, your king! Now remember, Gozzi does have to get terrain advantage in this match with the ferry. That is something to take into account, but that is a good hit from Iron Dan, that. Twice. A tie. Another tie. Ooh, Ceratosaurus getting that next hit. Light recovery's coming in. Attack boots activating as well. And well, yet again, we're all square. Ooh, the Kakiradontosaurus gets the next hit. Iron Dan coming back into it. The Anyangera dive activating as well. Now, Ceratosaurus will survive, which means it's awakening time. Now, Gozzi got off the death fire. Can he get this hit here? He does! And a light recovery to come as well. Defense boost maxing up. This might be lethal. And it is! And Kakiradontosaurus goes down. 
and for the first time in this match, Gozzi has the lead. Now, obviously, the light recovery is going to make no difference because Super Ceratosaurus is going to lose half his health anyway. Right, coming in third for Iron Dan, we've got Super Spinosaurus with the Awaken Mode on three. Our comeback special. Gozzy did a comeback specialist in this tournament. Always seems to be losing and then somehow wins. <laughs> Although this one's not really a comeback because it's been pretty much nip and tuck throughout. Ty. Iron Dan needs to take out this Ceratosaurus quick. Oh, he can't afford that. That's a crit. He can't afford to get hit by that. Oh, it's another hit! That's gonna do it! That's gonna be good. It's for Iron Dan. Because the fairy comes in with terrain advantage. Gozzy's gonna get the win. And it's gonna be a bonus point win! Where did that come from? Well, completely out of nowhere, Gozzy gets the bonus point victory. The Spinosaurus completely collapsed. And Iron Dan still searching for their first win of the tournament. But as for Gozzi, they're going joint top. And they'll be staying top. Depending on the result of this main event. And speaking of the main event, let's get on with it. Okie dokie, in the red corner. For Black Rider, we have got a Mega Raptor. Black Rider enjoying a much better tournament so far. Well, compared to last year where they didn't, I don't even think they won a match. <laughs> Doing so much better this year. And are currently sitting joint top with Gozzi. But in the blue corner, we have for Tyrant King, we got Black T-Rex. Tyrant King also enjoying a strong tournament and a victory for them here will put them top. Uh, we don't have any grass types in this matchup, so no terrain advantages. Let's see how this main event goes. Ooh, that's a tie. Ooh, Black T-Rex gets the first hit. Now, what's interesting, both of these guard teams have a Black T-Rex in it. That Dino Illusion getting triggered there. It's a tie. Another tie. This is a good start from Tyrant King. Okay, ooh, there goes the Dino Illusion. That crit would have been lethal for Mega Raptor, but the Dino Illusion put a stop to it. Okay, there's a hit from Mega Raptor. It's a Venom fan. Black Rider getting their first shot of the match. Good uh, poison hit there. Oh, we've got another tie. Ooh, but the death fire has been triggered from the black T-Rex. But there will be no death fire because black T-Rex is going down. Right, coming in next for Tyrant King, we've got Super Eel Carcaria. Awaken mode on three. Another powerhouse in this team. Hmm. Well, despite... I think there's been one hit apiece, but Black Rider has got off the poison hits as well, so... Yeah, good start from, from Black Rider. It's another tie. Not much separating these two so far. Oh, that's a hit from Mega Raptor though, but it does have type disadvantage, so yeah, not too much damage dealt with. As opposed to this hit from Eocarcaria, which will finish off the Meg. Right, coming in next for Killer for um, Black Rider, we got Shunasaurus with type advantage over the Eocarcaria. That could be crucial, although it only has Ocean Panic, so gonna be tough to take advantage of that. 
is more of a Thai specialized dinosaur, the Shunosaurus, shall we say? Real Karkiria gets that ne next hit on the board. And it's a Flare Sword as well. Big shot there from Tyrone Kit. Right, that's twice. Oh, that's a tie. Now, the Shunosaurus does have Ocean Panic, like I said, so ties will help it out. That won't, though. That's a massive Magma Blaster, and if this is lethal, then Tyrant King is in prime position to get a bonus point win here. And it's lethal. And the Eelcock still has the Awaken Mode to use. Right, coming in third for Black Rider, we got Black T-Rex. He's going to have to pull a rabbit out the hat here. Well, first off, don't get hit with the Awakened hit. Because if that happens, that is game over. Second off, get this Eelcarkeria killed as quick as possible. Okay, there's a hit. Good shot there from the Black T-Rex, but here we go. This is the crucial moment of the match for me. A hit here from Eelcarkeria, I think... It'll be Tyrant King's victory. Oh, it's a Magma Blaster! And with a Flare Sword possibly to come, I think that's going to be lethal. This is going to be do it. Oh, I freaking one-shot it! Jeez, that was a lot of damage. And it's Tyrant King's victory. A ruthless display. And they go top of this group. And Black Rider tastes defeat. Big hitters in this group, man. Big hitters. Quick matches. Right, we'll have a look at the table. We can end the session. Well, that is how Group H looks, ladies and gentlemen. We have Tyrant King topping it with 12 points. Then we have LP Gozzi second by virtue of the fact that they do have a better record than Black Rider, who currently sit in third. Both on 11 points. Then we have... Ooh, in fourth, by virtue of the fact that they beat Killer Wolf, who currently sit in fifth. Then we have Shin Dominus and Cudgel Booth. Actually, Shin Dominus should be below Cudgel Booth by head to head. And then poor old Iron Dan still searching for their first win of the tournament at the bottom. But, you know, given those results, it's definitely still in it. In it. Six points adrift, free to play. There's plenty of time. There's still time, but they're going to have to get a win in round five to have any chance again out of the group and yeah that's going to end this session here so i hope you enjoyed and till next time ta-ta